Like, I know you stink. Like, that's on my mind off the rip. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm not about to do nothing with you. Just for that reason right there. You didn't even shower. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I had to kick her out. You are now tuned into TTB Entertainment. Aaliyah's plane crashed on August 25th, 2001. Where did they bury the survivors at? Where did they bury the survivors? Yeah. Bitch, I don't even know. Bitch, we was all focused on Aaliyah. Fuck the mother hoes. No shade. Oh my god, I can't die with you. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up to say. It really is fucked up, but no shade. Nobody was thinking about the mother hoes. They was thinking about Aaliyah, no shade. But, um, <laughs> bitch in the harbor of motherfucking uh, Bahamas. <sighs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. They survivors, they, they don't get buried. We blog. We gossip. We share porn. We are media. We are thirst trap boys. Welcome to the TTV newsroom. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a cold red, a cold red upon us because apparently there is dirty boy pussy on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys, the official King Pain of Chasing LA had an exclusive interview with a rapper named Xander Xanax. Now, Xander is the guy that Fran from Chasing LA claimed to have slept with. Now, um, that's important because this guy is claiming that he never ever slept with Fran because, you know, Fran, well, he was musty. He stank. And that Fran was a catfish. Yes, Fran didn't catfish his face, but he catfished how big his ass was. And, well, <laughs> take a look at this clip, and I'll come back with the rest of my commentary. So this is him. This is Xander. This is the one everybody has been looking for, okay? The one Fran is alleging that he slept with. Number one. I didn't even know they was a they. I thought they was he because they came over as a man. Like, they wasn't even coming over to me as, like, a female. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm sorry to say that, but, like, that's that's what it was. And mind you, uh, so what happened, they, they came off of work. They came they came off of uh, work or something like that straight to me. So, like, you working and you, you doing your thing. Like, I know you stink. Like, that's on my mind off the rip. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm not about to do nothing with you just for that reason right there. You didn't even shower. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I had to kick her out. Like, so you said nothing happened? No, never. So why would Fran say that you had... Fran told me that y'all had sex and it was good. Very you know, man, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people going to say a lot of things, man, but I like to video record everything. That's my like that's, that's my something? cup of tea. That's my cup of tea. I like to you record. Like to we can yeah. go you a friend. I mean, Love. you can hit me up personally, and I and I can give you out anything you need, baby. <laughs> you okay. know what I mean? But well, at the same know. time, it's like I like to record everything. So like, I'll give anybody my cell phone. I'll Ooh. give anybody my iCloud. I guarantee you, you're not going to be able to find no video of me and that person doing anything. And this is something that I just love to do. You got my brother, Alex. You got ask anybody who really knows me. I'm a, I'm a video recorder in that room. Baby. I don't know. I'm a porn star on the show today. <laughs> I met Fran off, of, uh, off the app Grinder real quick. And for real, for real, I'm not going to say what the words that I was supposed to be spoken in that, in that term. But, you know, it was supposed to come over. We're supposed to do what we do. Number one, it was a catfish at first. Stop 
Yeah, at first, at first, at first, at first it was like a catfish or whatever because the pictures of like the ass is bigger or whatever. So I was like, okay, you look, you look cute or whatever. And then when I when I when I saw them, it was it wasn't that. Like, you know what I mean? Like it was just like so down the middle, like. <laughs> So how did you see the ass? Like, did you see the bare ass, or did you see it? Just see it in jeans. Listen, I saw, I saw, I saw a bare ass because they pulled down pants. But when, mm. they pulled down, but when they pulled down pants, it was just like, I can't do this. Like it's, it, like I know you just got off of work. Like, like you, you stink. Like you gotta go. My dick ain't getting hard. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Musty. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> uh, uh, they said that they were, you know, a big star on the show and, you know, it was going to be something good happening for them and they're getting paid a lot of money. And it was like, I was like, okay, that's cute. You know, I, I dig that. That's, that's what's up. To watch the full exclusive interview, please head over to the official King Pain on YouTube right now. The home of of the lituation it stays lit lit over there now fran fran you gotta do something fran because your 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 booty hole scent is on the line yes in these online streets right now you are being labeled as a dirty booty whore Fred, you got to do something. You are getting dragged out here. Now, listen, it's one thing for people to drag you over having an outfit from Wish. But it's a complete other thing to have them drag you for the way that you smell. Fran, you do not want to be known as the booty bandit. The dirty booty bandit, okay? Especially when you're, you know, talking about how big your ass is and blah, 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 blah. Because right now in these streets, it is labeled as dirty, musty, musky, disastrous, like, not good. So, friend, I don't know what you're going to do, but you need to do something, okay? You need to do something. You need to say something. You need to go on a platform. You need to... D Shit, you're welcome here, my friend. You need to do something because you got to defend yourself because it's not like my guy... On season two in the comments, if you make it to season two, they're gonna be dropping shit. They're gonna be dropping shit. Every time you go, every time you come on the screen, they're gonna be dropping shit in the comments. <laughs> because you allegedly smell like shit. So you have to do something. You know, the official King Payne is not letting up. You know, he has his foot on Fran's neck. And, you know, in his defense, you know, the official King Payne did call Fran before he interviewed this guy to give Fran a heads up. But apparently Fran did not respond, which Fran, you should have you should have taken the phone call, my guy, because this is a key key, bitch. I don't know what's next, but this is a key. Oh, my God. This is a key. What do you guys think about this? Do you believe Xander? Do you believe Fran? What do you guys think? Please sound off in the comments. And Fran, you need to figure something out immediately. OK, not now. But right now, because the official King Payne is playing chess, and baby boy, you are over there somewhere playing checkers. And I'm going to need you to get it together. Okay? And that, folks, is the latest TTB breaking news.